James, well, going back to file that sunny day, uh, you were on the bench there. Was this uh, part of your rehab? Yeah, you know, it was an opportunity to get back into the mix, and you know, I was pleased to be selected for that game. And obviously, it was good to have a run out before before the game kicked in with the first team the following week. So yeah, it was a good little run out, and the shoulder has stood so far, so it's all good. Yes, yeah, touch wood so far. Now, um, what about the games? You know, pre-season and then Exeter. Yeah, I think you know it was a lot of new systems again this year, and we didn't have too many new boys to fit in. And, you know, the games went really well for us. We got a good win against Glasgow and then Leinster defending champions. It was, it was good to have a run out there and the boys did well and fronted up on what was a, a different night in terms of the weather. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it was a good pre-season for us and it was, you know, it was a lot of positive to take into the season. Are you more of a flanker now than a second row or adaptable? Um, hopefully be more seen as a six, but obviously it's, it's always good to have a couple positions in the, in the closet to uh, pull out when needed. They're still using you in the line out. Yeah, well, it obviously got a little bit of height on a few people, so I think it works well with the fact that we've got what, five, six plus, five mm. plus players, so it's good to get a bit of extra height in there. But you do your share of lifting yourself? Yeah, you know, the system is designed so that we, we all get a fair share of jumping in. We've all got a lot of options across the line out, so there should always be an option on. Now, how did the players feel about first game in Salford at the new stadium? Yeah, very exciting. You know, it's, it's a fantastic facility. As Dan said, it's world class and it's probably one of the best in the Premiership mm -hmm. at this moment in time. And, you know, for us to, to get that filled in week in, week out is, is obviously massive for us. And if we can deliver on the pitch, hopefully that'll come. The preparation looked to have been right, notwithstanding the result. The performance was much better. Yeah, you know, we had a very disappointing first week, and you know, we felt we let, we let ourselves down. And obviously, the people that that came down to watch us, and it was all about degrading a bit of pride and showing that you know we're not a soft team and we want to front up massively and I think that's something that we did achieve and there's a lot of positives to take out but as you say the, the result wasn't quite what we wanted. Six and seven and have to get near nine and ten in the opposition. You know both of them. Yeah obviously yeah uh, <laughs> Wig and Charlie were both here when um, when I started out and came through and I learned a lot off them and it was it's always good to see all friends back on the pitch and you know fair play to them both played well and Charlie kicked his goals and stuff but you know, it's always good to play against someone that you know and you can always have a nice little... Despite defeat though, it was, uh, it was much better performance, more uplifting and probably a better Monday morning atmosphere. Yeah, definitely. You know, there was still that disappointment from losing, but there was a lot of positives to take out. We exited a lot better, we kept hold of the ball a lot better. and You know, our, our D was still a lot of, a lot of uh, pressure from them. So, you know, it's a, there's a few chances that we failed to take and if we take them, then you know, things could have been a bit different. But that's all over and we're looking forward to Harlequins now and hopefully not as warm as last year. Yeah, last year was a bit of a warm day down there and I think it took a lot out of players but you know, I think it was a 12 try fest and boys played well and it was, a, you know, it was a chance they were flying at the start of last year and we were the first real team to put a lot of pressure on them and showed sort of a few of their weaknesses but it's going to be another tough one, hopefully not be as warm this year mm. and it's a chance to sort of have a crack and there's no pressure on us at all. They're very good, they've got 40 points um, against Wasps and London Welsh, but uh, you might be a stronger test. Yeah, well, you know, Wasps also put 40 points on them, and you know, that shows that there is some, uh, some vulnerabilities there, but as you say, they're a, they're a class act and attack, and I think if you watch their tapes, they're probably one of the most exciting teams in the Premiership at the minute, so it's a big challenge for us, and it's something we'll look forward to. Some big names in their back row? Yeah, you know, Chris Robshaw is obviously the man of English will be at the minute, and, He's a fantastic player and a fantastic leader, but you know he's someone that we've got to target and try and take out of the game. And it's the same with Nick Easter. He's their he's their going forward man and one of their talisman. They're two players that we you know we really need to focus on and make sure that we do a job on. Well, focus Harlequins Saturday three o'clock. Best wishes. Thank you very much.